Hey, hey, Plumpkin. It's Pumpkin. Hey, Plumpkin. What? Knife. Huh? Ah! 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 Rise and shine. Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, October 31st, 2016, day A in your schedule. I'm Adam Fries. And I'm Paige Shelley. Birthday wishes today go to Dustin Hatfield, Trevor Mahan, Mason Nurich, Laura Rosario, and Marcel Salgado. Happy birthday, everyone. Thursday's overall attendance was 95.01%. Freshmen had the highest attendance with 95.71%. It is reset day today, so there will be no Falcon Time meetings, but tomorrow, Anime Club and ASL Club will meet. Any juniors interested in taking the ASVAB, please see Mrs. Lewis in student support to sign up. The test will be given at Staley High School on Monday, November 21st. There will be a limited number of spots, so please see Mrs. Lewis soon. If you have any questions about the ASVAB, see your counselor. Jostens will be here this Friday, November 4th during lunch to take additional graduation product and cap and gown orders. This will be the last time Jostens will be here to take orders for graduation. Please be sure to get your cap and gown ordered for graduation next Friday if you haven't already done so. Also, be sure to have your $60 deposit with you. The Social Studies Department will be having a mock election tomorrow during lunch in the Great Hall. Please plan to participate. Who will Staley High School elect to become our next president? Attention Staley readers, all entries for this October Gateway drawing are due by today. For complete details, stop by the LMC and check out the Gateway display. Lost and found will be cleaned out today by the end of the day. If you have any lost item, please go to Student Services. Are you scared of clowns? This clown epidemic has taken over America. Here's Adam, Noah, Nick, and Muhammad with more. <laughs> Clownophobia, the extreme or irrational fear of clowns. In recent weeks, clown activity has skyrocketed across the United States, with sightings reported in 39 states and increasing daily. So how did the clown epidemic begin? A fear of clowns has existed in American pop culture for some time, with movies like It and Saw becoming fan favorites. The first official clown sighting reported in the U.S. was in Greenville, South Carolina. A mother and her son reported seeing clowns behind their apartment and said that the clowns were trying to lure them into the woods. Clown sightings soon rose across the U.S. with instances of school threats and even armed robbery occurring as a result. Detectives were out here for several hours along with officers looking for any sign of a possible clown. If they themselves are thinking about putting on a clown suit and going around harassing other people, that is an illegal act. So you're saying that this is a clown attacked you here tonight and cut you with a knife? Yeah. Now to the creepy clown sighting in Largo. He says, oh my God, Mom, I just was chased by clowns. The clowns are coming. It is clear that the clowns are no longer a joke. So why are we afraid of clowns? Sociologist Robert Bartholomew at Botany College in New Zealand has studied mass hysteria for decades and said the current clown scare is a result of two rising forces in the U.S., social media and a fear of otherness. Social media plays a pivotal role in spreading these rumor panics which travel around the globe in the blink of an eye. They are part of the greater moral panic about the fear of strangers and terrorists in an increasingly urban, impersonal, and unpredictable world. It's a tough moment for clowns. But David Kaiser, Reeling Bros clown expert, said that they will never disappear completely. They will have to evolve, he said, but clowns hold up a mirror on society so we can see the absurd in ourselves. So to be afraid of them is ultimately to be afraid of yourself. Well, that's all we have for you today, Staley. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and visit us online at StaleyNews.com. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for our daily shows and more. Have a happy Halloween, everyone.